Hi, Cancer. So I kept hearing, there's just emotions taking me over. Caught up in sorrows, lost in a song. So if you don't come back, come home to me, darling. You guys are missing somebody. So who y'all missing? What y'all do? <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind that these readings are general and may or may not resonate. So take what does and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign for more insight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, you guys. <clears throat> so if this is not you guys missing someone, then this is someone missing you. But... I try not to resonate with the other person. I try to resonate with you guys. And I'm going to stop doing that. From now on, we're going to we're gonna focus on your energy. But the cards say are for you or it just is not for you. It's not your message for that day. So, we're going to say that this is you missing somebody, okay? This is you. Even if you're not telling this person, it's like, come back. Okay, like, let's see. Let's see. Okay, you're holding back. Juggling the idea. Want happiness? Oh, with the air with the Aries Leo with Sagittarius and you're stressed out because it's a burden. Okay, so this doesn't necessarily have to be an Aries Leo or Sagittarius, but I do have Leo here with the fire sign. Could definitely be, be dealing with the Aries Leo or Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I have the sun sign here too, so it definitely can be an Aries. But if this is not, then this is somebody who might have this in their chart, they're exuding this right now. But you're holding back from this person, needing to make a decision. It's stressing you out and it's burdening. Okay, so why are you holding back? Because you're at a crossroads. Okay, we know that spirit, but why are we holding back? Because you feel like you put enough work in and you're not seeing the growth that you want to see from this. What is the Two of Pentacles here for? Yeah, I feel like um, someone found about found out about some secrets. Could have been you. Could have been this person with the Ace of Swords here. Or this is some deep emotion here that needs to be spoken, but you're not speaking it yeah this ace of pentacles came out in reverse so i feel like you're happy with this person but maybe it's just not as stable as you wanted it to be and now you're a little bit confused because you don't know whether you should move on or stay why is the queen of wands here yeah i feel like this person is focused on themselves anyway why is the nine of swords here yeah, and you're stressed out because mm, maybe the person that you want is in a relationship already. They're in a happy relationship already. Damn, I'm sorry, Cancer. Why is this burdening for you, though? Why did you pick this person? What is going on? Okay, so you picked this person because the sex was good. Maybe this is a past person that you already uh, were with, but... You still want to offer them something passionate, and they're blocking the. They're they're either blocking you or they're very defensive towards having this uh, passionate start with you, or maybe that's just how you feel. Okay, yeah, could definitely be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here, but this person is is not thinking um, with their heart. They're thinking with their mind because that's what King of Swords do. Their signs really think logically, sometimes too logically, about a situation. They don't think about it from a loving perspective like you guys do. And that's a problem. So even if, that's why they say that you guys are not compatible with air signs. So even if this is not an air sign, this can be somebody who is exuding this energy right now. You know. So, what is the, um, oopsies. Too many spirit, too many, too many. But those would have been bomb ass cards. What is the outcome for my Cancerians? Look at that. King of Swords twice. This person is thinking so fucking logically, okay? While you're over here offering love. Oh, my God. That's, like, too much. It's like, bitch, I can't... Oh, excuse me. It's like, I can't even love you like how I want to love you. I can't be passionate towards you the way I want to be passionate towards you because you're not thinking with your heart. You might feel like this person is very fucking cold. 
And that might be aggravating the shit out of you, too. I feel like it. With the um, Knight of Swords, it's like y'all are coming at it from two different ways. You're coming at it from a loving perspective. They're coming at it with a logical uh, standpoint. You're rushing into this person um, with some passionate communications. Definitely standing within the Aries Leo. You might have that in your chart because I've seen a lot of that. You're, you're coming through passionately with this person. And they sitting here like, the again, the King of Coins. Somebody who is worried about themselves. Give me more for the conclusion. Yeah, I feel like this person is going to break your heart. You might as well stay guarded. Whatever the fuck happened between you two guys, they're guarded. You're guarded. They're purposely going to hurt your feelings. I don't know what's, what the hell is going on. It didn't say anything about that. But Sheesh. What is the advice for my... Hold on, you guys. I feel like this person might not be keeping it real with you about how to get up. Look at this. King of Cups. This person is not keeping it real with you about how they feel. They're hiding their emotions from you. I, I don't know why. Maybe it's something that happened in the past, but they're definitely hiding how they really feel about you at this point. I feel like they're trying to put on like a poker face right now. Definitely could be dealing with a Gemini. Geminis do shit like that. Geminis and Sagittarius are good at that. Okay, this might be a Gemini with Sagittarius in their chart. Honey, they put on a poker face. They could love you to death. You would never know it. They will lie to make you feel bad. If you're dealing with one of those signs, just know that they probably are still very much so in love with you. But healing from the situation and not telling you that. They might be seeming like they moving forward. I see this person just not being as loving as you as they might have been before or as you would like them to be. They're guarded and they're thinking with their mind and not their heart. There's very a little bit of love here and a little bit of love here is coming from you. Yeah. Your your advice is to still stand in your spot, but I still your advice also is to keep your eye on this past person. Maybe this is your soulmate. Yeah. Yep, look at this. We got the Queen of Swords here. This is your soulmate. And although I see them still juggling the idea of being with you, they're going to still be in your life. And you're still going to be confused for now. Oh, I wish I could clarify more, but there is nothing else that I can tell you guys right now. All right, bye.